Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today I'm bringing you guys my build and guide for Tartalia or Tortellini aka Child uh, in the same style as my Kaching and Duluth videos. So if you guys haven't seen those, I'll put them in the description for you guys to go ahead and check them out. And I'll put little cards at the top right hand side of the screen so you guys can just click on them if you are interested. But anyway, let's get started with today's video. One thing I have to note before we get into the actual build is that my child is at Constellation 2, so I have a little bit of energy recharge and cooldown reduction, but you do not need any Constellations to make him absolutely insane. However, if you do manage to get Constellation 6, old spamming is pretty much your number one priority as it completely resets the melee stance change cooldown. So your build might rotate more towards energy recharge and some weapons might have more value in that case. But anyway, let's get started with the weapons. In case you guys missed my last video that I uploaded yesterday, I'm going to recommend that you go ahead and check it out because I break down all the DPS numbers and damages for all of the top tier bows for child and show you guys the results from my testing so you can see for yourself why and how certain weapons are stronger than others. But just as a TLDR or TLDW, the best option in slot for bows is the Skyward Harp followed by the Rust if you want to use child as your main DPS. If you want to use child as a nuke support pretty much, the best option in that case would be a Stringless. But there are actually quite a lot of pretty good bows in the game as well as a multitude of different ways to get them. There's the shop, the battle pass, gotcha, three stars from exploration. So what I have done is I have prepared a tier list with all of the bows in the game. So here are my recommendations. Any bow on this tier list is usable and in order from you know top to bottom and left to right these are the best in my opinion so just keep in mind guys most of them are actually pretty decent you just have to accommodate and how you spec your artifacts in order to make the most out of them so for example if you are using the skyward harp which gives you crit rate and crit damage you can afford to use a crit damage helmet or an attack helmet but on the flip side for example if you're using the black cliff bow which gives you crit damage as a substat then you can use a crit rate helmet to counteract that and get the best out of both worlds. Now let's move on to artifacts. Sadly, there is no hydro damage focus artifact set in the game just yet, but there was a supposed leaked one that sets that come out in 1.2, but take that with a grain of salt as it all might be fake and it might change from here to release, but I have no doubt in my mind that in one way or another we will get a hydro damage bonus set in 1.2. But for now, there are three main sets of artifacts that you're going to want to run on Child. That's Wanderer's Troop, Gladiator's Fury, and Noblesse Oblige. I'm not running Retracing Bolide because none of the units that I use in my team comps have a shield, but that might change in the near future. I'm probably just going to hold off until I get my hands on that upcoming Hydro set anyway, so I'm probably not going to use a Bolide set. But ideally, you would want two pieces of Gladiator and two pieces of Noblesse, but really, you can just combine the two-piece bonus from any of these sets. Just pick and match the ones that have the best stats for you, the ones that have a decent amount of energy recharge, and crit. Speaking of which, for your substats, you are going to want crit on top of crit on top of crit, and as much energy recharge as you possibly can, regardless of your constellation. Child's ult is incredibly strong, so you're going to want to use that as often as possible. So in this situation, energy recharge and crit take the priority in your substats, and as for main stats, you're going to want attack on your timepiece, hydro damage bonus on your cup, and whatever you're lacking the most in your helmet. So if it's crit rate, then get a crit rate helmet. If it's crit damage, then get a crit damage helmet. Or if you have really low attack, like 1700, 1600, then consider using an attack helmet instead. Now, finally, let's move on to team comps. There are two main team comps that you can go for that I think are the strongest for him. The first one is a vaporized comp, which focuses on huge single target burst damage, or an electro charge comp with amazing AoE dot damage. Both are very strong and both are the exact same. The only difference will be in choosing between Shangling and Fischl. And the good thing about these two units is that they are both free to play friendly. In case you don't have a Fischl, you will be getting one pretty soon. Shangling's ulti is great for applying pyro to enemies around you so you can proc vaporize with child. The weapon I recommend for her is going to be the Dragon's Bane. This gives you elemental mastery and increases the damage you will deal to all enemies since they will always be either affected by Hydro from child or pyro from you. If you don't have this then you can use the Favonius lands which gives you energy recharge as a substat and generates elemental particles for more ult spams. For her artifacts you're going to want four pieces of Noblesse Oblige or four pieces of Crimson Witch or four pieces of Instructor in that order of availability. For your Electro Charge comp, Fischl is just Fischl. She deals a lot of damage, Oz is amazing, and she can also serve as a secondary DPS. 
The weapon I recommend running on her is a Stringless in this case, or a Rust. For her artifacts, you're going to want four pieces of Thundering Fury, as always, to ensure you have as much Oz uptime as possible, as well as increase your Electro Charge damage by 40%. Well then, what about your secondary support? Well, you have a couple of options here, and it all depends on who you have. Supros, in my opinion, is by far the best choice. You can equip her with either a Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers or a Sacrificial Fragments for Elemental Mastery. Either way, you're going to be buffing your teammates one one way or another. Sucrose pretty much transfers a lot of her elemental mastery to her teammates, so if you use Sacrificial Fragments, you're going to be doing that, and of course, if you're using Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers, you're going to be buffing their attack instead, so either or is a really good option. Like I said, since she transfers her elemental mastery to her teammates, you're going to want as much elemental mastery as you possibly can, and the artifacts you're going to want on her are four pieces of Instructor. Now, I know this might seem weird because Instructor is only a 4-star set, though we might get a 5-star uh, version in the future. Uh, but the reason for this is because whenever you proc Sorrel, which will be pretty much always, it is going to increase your whole party's elemental mastery by 120. And even if you have a shitload of elemental mastery on your Sucrose, it's probably not going to give more than 120. So unless you have really god roll artifacts and you can just have a just a shitload of elemental mastery, even if you're running two piece instructor and two piece wanderer's troop for that 160, this is way more. So it's basically a noblesse oblige, but for elemental damage. So you have your Shangling or your Bennett or your whatever supports uh, with noblesse, and then you have this on your Sucrose. Plus the Thrilling Tales, you are basically going to just crack out Child beyond belief. Now if you don't have Sucrose, then you can also use Bennett, who is available in the shop right now, so you can get him. And alongside Shang Ling, he'll give you the Pyro Resonance 25% attack buff, which is really, really nice. And even alongside Fischl, he will have a way to proc Overload, which is also hella strong, and it is AoE. Bennett also serves as a healer, so you could run these three together. And I actually used to run that before, I used to run Child, Bennett, Shang Ling, Sucrose for the longest time until I decided on the team that I have right now. If you run Bennett and Zhongling together, then run 4-piece Noblesse on him, and then run either 4-piece Crimson Witch or Instructor on Zhongling, since Noblesse does not stack, so you're basically going to be wasting a set bonus. But I personally don't like Bennett as my only healer, but if you're okay with that, then it's up to you. You can definitely do that. Other characters you could probably use are Beidou. If you run it alongside Fischl, you're going to have a lot of energy. You could also run Xingxu for the double Hydro Resonance, which is going to increase Xingxu's healing by quite a bit, and therefore you don't need like a main healer. And you could also run Noel running 4-piece Archaic Petra to give you a huge boost in Hydro Damage bonus. And if you do do that, you could run 4-piece Retracing Volide, but I personally just don't like it. And for your last slot, aka your main healer, it literally does not matter. You could pick your favorite healer, be it Chi Chi, um, Barbara, or Jean. And I personally went with Jean because she can help get Sucrose's ultimate back since they are both a Nemo. They can generate uh, energy for each other. She can also heal without relying on cooldowns. All she has to do is auto attack. And she also gives you cooldown reduction and movement speed via the Anemo Resonance. And most importantly, she's mommy as fuck. I'm running Skyward Sword on her for the energy recharge and the attack speed so I can heal more often whenever I pop my ulti. And I'm running two pieces of Gladiator and two pieces of Maiden Beloved for her artifacts. So guys, just see which units you may have out of all the ones that I recommended, and they work really, really well with him. You honestly just need somebody to proc uh, either Vaporize or Electro Charge and a healer. And if you have Sucrose, you pretty much just have a team comp right there. You can pair Child, Sucrose, and literally any other character in the game, and you already have a team comp. Well, guys, that is it. That is my build for Child. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more content like this. It would really mean a lot to me. I'm trying really hard out here to balance uh, a full-time job and also doing YouTube videos plus streaming. It is incredibly difficult, so I just want to say thank you guys uh, for your support, and I also want to say thank you to my patrons, and I will see you guys later on today in my stream, so make sure you have notifications turned on so you are notified of when I go live on YouTube. And that's it for me, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.